Welcome to Infercon Automation. Thank you for your valuable inquiry with us. Hope you are safe and good. Now, we would love to give you a demonstration on the Honeywell C300 controller and the support that you'll acquire from us. This is your Honeywell DCS control panel. And as you can see, this is your Honeywell controller. The model of this controller is Honeywell EPKS C300 with two I.O. links. And this is a stand-alone controller. And the communication protocol we use here is your fault-tolerant Ethernet. And in addition to that we have our I.O. modules which will be connected in a certain order which goes like analog input of Heart 16 channel module. And then the analog output of Heart 16 channel module. Then the digital input of 32 channel module. And then the digital output of 32 channel module. The other module channels will be connected to the terminal blocks before connecting to the field devices. Here the analog output channels will be connected to the fuse terminal blocks before connecting to the field devices. So the digital outputs from the DO module will be connected to the relays for electrical switching. The supply of 230 voltage AC is connected to the SMPS in order to convert it to 24 voltage DC to be given as supply to the controller. And also the CPU power backup device is connected to your controller and your I.O. modules for any power backup. So from the power backup, it is also connected to your 8 series header board which is used to extend the I.O. modules. So in the software, we'll be teaching you the configuration of IOs and also the functioning of program using functional block diagram. In addition to that, we'll also give you a clear-cut understanding of designing the SCADA and integrating the SCADA with the controller. In addition to that we have connected the IOs to a real-time operator panel where you will be able to have hands-on experience with the IOs. Here we have connected the digital inputs to the push buttons and toggle switches. And we have connected the digital outputs to the lamp and the operator panel. And also we have 4 to 20 milliamp signal generator for analog input configuration and a display to show the analog values. Our here the software we use is your configuration studio or 400.0 and for SCADA, we'll be using HMI web display builder. And thank you for your valuable time. Hope this demonstration has given you a better clarity. Looking forward to have wonderful sessions with you.